Hi, my name is Tulip, and I have had anger issues since I was three years old. Please like and subscribe. I think it all started the day my father left us. He hated family life, and he just took off. I was so mad at him, and since he wasn't around, I took it out on everyone else. One time, a lady in the supermarket pushed my mom to cut in line, so I ran up to her and bit her. <coughs> Tulip, you can't just bite people. She pushed you, mommy. You have to use your words, sweetie. It was really hard for me. I felt like everything in my life made me mad, except for my mom. I spent all my free time with her, helping her with her job as a gardener. Mom took care of a huge yard owned by a billionaire. He was so rich that he let us live in a two-bedroom outhouse in his estate. Life was good when I was there, until Evan, my worst enemy, would show up. Evan was the boss's son, and he was a total idiot. He and his friends ran around like crazy in the garden, stomping on all the freshly planted flowers. Are you crazy? You're crushing the plants. The ground is for walking on. Do you have any idea how hard it was to grow those? He reached down and plucked another flower. You mean this? Ah! I jumped on Evan and wrestled him by the collar. We both rolled around in the dirt till my mom showed up and pulled us apart. Tulip, you should never fight with that boy. You have to apologize. I'm not apologizing to him. He destroyed our hard work. They're his flowers to destroy. This is his house. If you don't apologize, he could tell his dad and I could get fired. Why was life so unfair? I made myself march up to that brat and forced out a sorry. He gave me a smirk. I'll accept your apology, Red. Red? Because your face gets all red when you're angry, <laughs> like right now. My name is Tulip. Okay, Red. Ugh, he was so annoying. I really wanted to control my anger, but one day I just broke. I returned home from school to find the entire front lawn totally ripped up. I picked up some mud in my hands and marched into his house with actual steam coming out of my ears. The second I found Evan, I threw the mud at his face. Then I started yelling and I didn't stop until he literally put his hand on my mouth. I didn't rip out the lawn, you idiot. We played a football match. Wait, what? That's when I noticed a huge group of boys sitting behind him, all sweaty and dirty. I, I am so sorry. I was so embarrassed. I just ran out of there. Red, wait! I didn't dare turn back. I couldn't believe so many people saw me having a total meltdown. I was so scared that Evan would get my mom fired for what I did. I just had to avoid him at all times. I started spending all my afternoons in the public library. And that was where I first met Theo. I think he was the most amazing guy I knew. He walked in and gave the librarian a fresh bouquet of flowers. <gasps> oh, so sweet. He always helped little kids get their books down from the shelves, and he helped the staff clean up even though they asked him not to. I'd never met anyone like him, and I had to talk to him. The only problem was, he was obviously rich, and I was not. One look at his fancy coat and his expensive watch, and I knew I had to lie about myself. My parents are rich, very rich. They sell diamonds. Wow, diamonds? That's so exciting. Yes, they're the best rocks. I think I really liked Theo because I lied to him a lot. If he was into anime, so was I. If he liked mint chocolate ice cream, I'd force myself to have some. I even started dressing up for him a little bit. Most importantly, I had to be calm and collected around him. He was the gentlest person I had ever met. If he saw the real me, he would hate me. My act was working, and Theo and I started hanging out a lot. It all went to pieces, though, when one day, I went to Evan's mansion to collect my mom's paycheck. When I reached the living room, I nearly fell over. Theo was there. He was hugging Evan. What the heck was going on? Before I could run out of there, Evan yelled, Hey, Red, come and meet my big brother. No way. Big brother? Tulip, what are you doing here? Theo, I... I... Do you know each other? Yes. I told you about my friend from the library, right? The one who has a diamond mine? That's her. Evan's jaw was on the floor. Diamond? Mine? Oh no, I wanted to throw up. I, I need to go home. Bye now, Evan, come with me. I dragged him out with me and he was laughing hysterically. <laughs> Diamond mine? Diamond mine? You'd better not torture me. Why did you lie to Theo? Is he the person you've been meeting all these days? Is he the one you've been dressing up for? <laughs> Wait, do you have a crush on my brother? 
Stop guessing everything. So you do. Wow. He's your brother? But I've never seen him here. Evan told me how his parents got divorced and they were forced to choose between them. Evan chose his dad and Theo chose his mom. Mom didn't allow us to meet here, so we only met outside. That's why you never saw him. Now my mom's broke, so he has to move in with us. He's going to know I lied. I can't hide. Sure you can. This place is huge. If I help you, he won't find you. Really? You want to help me? Yes, for a payment. What do you want? He wanted a lot. He made me get him fresh juice every morning and walk him to his fancy school. In the afternoons, he made me do half his homework, play games with him, and he even made me go shopping with him. I had to sit there while he tried on a hundred outfits and give my opinion on each one. In return, Evan hid me from Theo carefully. He distracted him if he tried to go into the gardens while I was working. If I went out with Theo, Evan would meet me afterwards to help sneak me into the compound. One time, Evan was helping me get over the wall, and I slipped. I fell and landed with a soft thump right into Evan's arms. I was just about to get off when Theo showed up out of nowhere. Evan, Tulip, what are you doing? I instantly jumped out of Evan's arms and made up an excuse for being here. Theo did not look happy. I'll drop you home, Tulip. Come on. Oh, no, I can go home by myself. You can't walk home alone. It's late. I'll take her, bro. Don't worry. Evan slapped him on the back and pulled me away. We waited for the right moment and he sneaked me into the house. Phew, that was close. I was about to shut the door when I heard Theo's voice. Evan, we need to talk about Tulip. Uh, yeah, what about her? Do you like her? You guys are together all the time. You were carrying her today. She just fell. Nothing's going on between us. Good, because I like her. I want to ask her out. Oh my God, he wanted to date me. I was gonna faint. You can date her. I don't care. Then stop hanging out with her all the time. Don't tell me what I should do. She's my friend. Well, she's going to be my girlfriend, so I'm more important. Just back off. They stormed away, and I let out a guilty sigh. I didn't want to make two brothers fight. The next day, Evan called me out for a new set of tasks to do all day. I put my foot down. We can't hang out like this anymore. I don't want Theo to think there's something between us. You like him that much that you don't even want to see me? Why? What's so great about that jerk? He's kind and sweet, and he's not making fun of me all the time. He calls me Tulip, not some stupid nickname. At least I know everything about you and accept you as you are. Accept me? You forced me to be your maid. I just want to hang out with you, you idiot. Why are we fighting? It's not like you like me. Maybe I do. I literally froze. What did he just say? I'm happy when you're around. I laugh when you laugh. I'm sad when you're sad. I think about you all the time. That's gotta mean I like you. Before I could reply, Theo appeared out of nowhere. Did you just tell Tulip you like her? After I told you I wanted to be with her? You jerk! He jumped on Evan and they started wrestling on the ground. I had to use all my strength to pull them apart. Stop it, both of you! Tulip, I like you more! I want you to date me, not Evan. Oh my God, this was not how I had pictured this moment. I wanted to say yes to Theo so badly. Instead, I blurted out the truth. Mm. Theo, I lied to you. I don't watch anime. I think mint chocolate ice cream tastes like toothpaste and I don't have a diamond mine. You what? My mom is a gardener. She works here for your dad. We live in your outhouse. No way. Evan's been helping me keep it a secret. I know it's dumb that I lied, but I really liked you. I still want to go out with you, but I can't lie anymore. So you're poor. You're a servant. So what? She's still a nice person and a good friend. She's a liar. She acted like she was a princess. I can't believe I ever liked you. Don't talk to her like that. This time, Evan attacked Theo. They started wrestling again, but I didn't care. The first guy I ever liked hated me. I ran home and locked myself in my room. I felt so stupid. Evan tried to get me to come out, but I ignored his calls and his frequent knocks. I just laid in bed for days and didn't even help my mom with gardening. For the first time in my life, I didn't even feel angry. I was just sad. Things didn't change until November came. This was the month my mom planted her favorite flowers, tulips. I had to help her. I forced myself out of bed and went to the garden, only to see something shocking. Mom was already planting the tulips, and Evan was helping her. He was digging and putting in the buds so gently. What are you doing? 
You seemed busy, so I thought I'd give this a try. Want to help? I sat down next to him and started digging. You were right, Red. Growing plants is tough. Sorry I gave you such a hard time about it all these years. That's okay. You weren't so bad. He had some mud on his face, and I wiped it off. He grabbed my hand before I could pull it away. I'm really sorry about what happened with Theo. You don't need to be. It's my fault for lying to him. I just wanted to be the perfect girl. You are perfect. You care about people. You're the funniest person I've ever met. He's an idiot if he doesn't see that. I don't want him to see me anymore. Like you said, he never liked me for me. You did. He turned red and let go of my hand. I felt a strange urge, and I leaned forward and gave him a kiss on his cheek. What was that for? I just wanted to see what it would be like. Then you should at least give me a proper kiss. He pulled me in and kissed me, right on the lips. Oh, it was so amazing. When he pulled away, I was actually dizzy. I know you just got done with Theo, but I'd love to take you out for real. I, I'd love to go out with you too. Your face is red like a tomato. It's your fault for kissing me. Okay, I won't do it again. Shut up. I pulled him back to me and gave him a long, passionate kiss.